three minutes to go before this market opens, so we'll find out what kind of a bounce, if any, we got from yesterday's decline. Come on in, David Barnson, our market watcher who usually covers dividends, but today he's getting political. You say that Biden's lockdown threats could cost him the election. Spell it out, please. It's, it's pretty simple, Stuart. Uh, he has a lead in the polls. People have their own instincts as to what's going to happen or not happen. But I can't think of a bigger error he could make in the final week than to go forward with this ridiculous idea that he wants to be branded as the lockdown candidate. The fact of the matter is that everything you said in the prior segment is completely correct. We are dealing with a virus that is spread and that the hospitalization data has stayed reasonably contained. The ICU and multi-day stays are way down and the mortalities are way, way down, about 75% from peak levels. This notion that he wants to threaten the middle class and lower economic rungs of people with further lockdowns is insane. And I think that it is a, not only a political liability, but it's something the American people have to understand. If you care about the economic prospects of those who are more disenfranchised, more disadvantaged, you yes. cannot support the idea of staying shut down. We need to get back to work open schools, open businesses, and let this virus run its course. That does not mean not protecting the vulnerable. We now That's, know what we need to do to do that. I'm glad you raised this, David, because at the top of the hour, coming up at 10 o'clock, I'm going to detail these 15,000 scientists and doctors who are saying the lockdown had the worst possible impact on poor people imaginable. I'm glad you brought this up because... I'd like to bring that into the argument as we're thinking what to do about the second wave and when it arrives. Uh, last 30 seconds to you, David. Yes, well, I want to point out that Biden said in the debate, oh, the, the rich are getting richer, billionaires have added to their you know, stock portfolios, and yet the poor people are getting hammered. That's because of lockdowns. Precise. That's because people that wear a tie to work, yeah, they can go on Zoom, I guess, and do this nonsense. The fact of the matter is that other people that bus at restaurants, bus tables, service workers, they can't. We got to get this economy open, Stuart. Oh, glad to hear it from you, David. Thanks very much for turning away from dividend plays for a moment and going to a really interesting political issue. David Barnson, see you again soon. Thank you, David.